Hi guys, this is Alex at BlackBoxMyCar.com. Today I have here a F30 BMW 328i. Um, I decided to make a quick video because we started out from a BMW E90 forum and uh, we made uh, videos about how to install on specific vehicles and and I don't know is it because we started out from BMW forum but a lot of our customers are from uh, our uh, BMW owners and and uh, I, I do understand that there are some confusion because I have one video that's dedicated towards uh, hardwiring it to the battery and there's another video that because uh, I myself have a BMW 5 series and and for that specific vehicle instead of going towards the battery I did it to the fuse box and so I get a lot of emails um, regards to why do I have to use battery for some specific vehicles while you are using it to the fuse box? So um, I thought I'd make this a quick video to help you guys understand why and perhaps show you how the brand new 3 series can be done, hardwired as well. So on this vehicle we have DR550, one in the front and one in the back right there. So um, with this vehicle, yes you can go into the battery which is right there BMWs are always here um, yes you can use any of the earth over there and use this battery to hardwire it the point the the reason why I uh, for one of the videos I decided to make it into the battery is because uh, with, with the newer BMWs let's say if initially when uh, when the ignition was off like after say 10 minutes this fuse right there was working but after 20 minutes uh, since the engine gets shut down that fuse no longer works and instead only a couple fuses are working so for example this one works this one works and this one works and a couple other ones are working but then you have to choose which if it is safe to use whether or not that fuse is good or bad um, for my case I used this guy I think it was 161 as a headlight it's always always on and that's the reason why I made another video of using the battery because for BMW battery is very exposed um, right there it's very easy to locate easy to uh, navigate to do whatsoever so that's why you can do the hardware install except you have to be you have to uh, be neat and you have to do it clean or else it can catch fires and stuff like that not to scare you guys off so therefore um, fuse box install is good way to go through a safer route I guess but you have to uh, uh, choose a fuse that's working even after 20 to 30 minutes after vehicle gets shut down and so for this case again we had to wait about 20 to 25 minutes uh, to make sure which fuses are up and which fuses are down after that amount of period um, for this case you do have to use all the newer European vehicles that has stop and go technology you need to use multi safer right there so that it can bypass your um, stop and go technology or else your uh, dash cam will shut off when the engine shuts down at the, at the stoplight so make sure you know what to use uh, for your newer BMWs and uh, Mercedes um, I think that was about it I'll just show you how I went about to route this guy so the DR550 rear unit is right there um, then you can pretty much wire through along the headliners into the C pillar basically right and then just like any other cars um, going to do it into the headliner along this room right there and push it into the rubber part. For for dual channel dash cams, you have to make sure you're pushing in enough wires so that two wires can go through. One wire is going to power the dash cam, and another wire is going to connect this guy to the another guy. So you have actually two wires to worry about, and so you just have to go through that way, that way, and to the fuse box area. So, um, 
I hope this video helps in sorting out why there are two different methods uh, to go about for the BMW 3 or any BMWs. Um, just to make it clear again, you can use battery or the fuse box, except what the fuse box installation method, you have to watch which fuses you're using because for newer BMWs, it shuts off, some fuses shut down after 20 minutes. So although um, when you were checking the fuses, uh, fuses may be up, but later on it may not work. So that's the reason why I recommend it going through the battery, which is much, much easier because you don't even have to check whether or not the fuse is working or not. But um, you have to be very, very neat, clean, tidy, unless it, there's a hazard of catching fire and stuff like that. So um, that was about it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions at info at blackboxmycard.com. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for more dashcam videos. Bye now.